check us out on Patreon, guys, where we're giving you the entire year now for $10.08. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Over 100 videos worth of content for $10.08. $0.08 eight cents is just such a slap in the face. <laughs> Like 84 cents some month, I think is what it got down to. I haven't seen 84 cents in 15 years. I'm telling Ever you. since Penny Candy. So check us out on Patreon, guys. Hope to see you there. The entire year. <laughs> in the summer of 2016, we received a call from Hildy Berger, Billy D's loving wife. Billy D, rumored to have been carrying nothing but a bottle of wine and a mysterious briefcase, had disappeared without a trace somewhere in the high deserts of the southwestern United States. Rumors of an alien abduction were at the forefront throughout the dark web chatter. Therefore, traditional methods of uh, tracking a lost and hopeless drunk art in a dirty <laughs> leisure suit were not an option. We hypothesized the only way to locate the subject was to construct traversable bridges between <laughs> intuition and technology, requiring us to explore the metaphorical mycelium between math and passion, art and order, <laughs> and hope and proof. Through these methods, we are able to pinpoint the exact location of uh, both Billy D and the mysterious briefcase. And when they say we, they're talking about the agents. Matt Mitchell, who's on guitar, bass, and keys, and Karina Round, who's on vocals and keys, and with agent in training. <laughs> Maynard James Keenan, vocals and stories, aka Dick Merkin. You know, this is the <laughs> Dick preview. Merkin. This is this is the preview for the forthcoming release, The Existential Reckoning. Hmm. Well, um, I guess we just go right into the intro. What's up, guys? Back with another one. I'm Ryan, my man, John. <laughs> you know what? You know what, you you know got... what Maynard? Shout out, shout out to Maynard, man. He's yeah. very abstract human being, man. What he said. You know, very, uh, you know, eclectic. Whatever word you want to use there, man, that, that, that uh, really symbolizes James Maynard there, man. So, that is great. What, uh, you know, that is uh, great. Those safe words, man. <laughs> Very abstract. Love it though. Love Yo, it. You, I you, love you, the creativity. You, you gotta dig into it. Yep. You know, and, and, and understand kind of where they're going. You know, obviously it's gonna take a little bit more uh, of us listening to their music and, and kind of doing some back some back research on the band yep. and, and what their goal is, but very, very interesting. And check out Remedy too, man. We did that, I think what, a year ago? I think that was now, something like that. Yep. And that was a song from uh Pussifer as well. So Yep, off that money shot out. <laughs> <laughs> gotta love it. It's been like five years since they put that out. I think it's like four, five, four or five years. I gotta wait. I think we've been somewhere up. five yeah. years that they yeah. put out. So this is five years in the making for them to get to existential uh, reckoning here. Yeah, man. man. So, existential reckoning, man. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna do bullet train to Iowa. I don't know what that means, but a very, a very, very big tool Maynard James Keenan fan uh, recommended us, to, you know, recommended yeah. this song for us. Knowing kind of what we tend to tend to rock with. Even though we don't always want you guys to give us requests that we, you just think we're going to like. <laughs> Challenge us a little bit. But he said that this is a good song that he thinks gives us little little bits and pieces of what we like, but yeah. is a little different. So we'll, 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 we know it's going to be different. We know that. Yeah. For sure. You're you know, going to get creativity. We're going to get that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so absolutely. we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> and before we get into the song, guys, one thing I do want to mention, I mean, we're joking around a lot, man. We have a lot of respect for... Uh, just the whole tool camp. Yep. You know what I mean? We've been meaning to get to uh, to Danny Carey's group, I think Legend of the Seagullman? Seagullman? Seagullman. Seagull 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 or something like yeah. that. We've been meaning to get to that as well, man, because again, they they feed that thirst. They're able to, to get very creative, but yep. still somehow appeal to us, no matter what our personal taste may be, yes. typically lean towards. They're always able to kind of pull us in. And that says a lot about just how talented and, and, and dope these guys yep. are to us, man. Big so time. even though we joke around, man, it's all love. You know, just to just to kind of throw that out there. But let's get into it though. Pussifer, bullet train to Iowa.
Man, it, there's so many things going through my head, man. And I'm listening to this, right? And I hear like the odd time signature, kind of like DNA that, um, that I've grown to love now. Really, seriously, right? But I love the way the guitar, the, the, the tone of the guitar and the way it's come. I love a lot of aspects of this song already and we just started, but it's weird still. I wanna make, a, make it a point to say this. It's not like I'm hella grooving out though, but it, but I am though. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's very, it's very contradicting right now. I'm like, I, I'm like, like, I like it, but I'm like, it's different. But I love the way it sounds. So it's 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 not like a typical groove for me. And those who watch the channel, uh -huh. guys know that that's my shit. I say that all the time. Man, I got to be able to groove to that shit. You know, I got to be able to groove to uh -huh. it. But I can still do it. But the uh, odd time signature uh, elements within this still kind of keep you off balance, if that makes sense. I mean, because when I say off balance, you know, you can't just do this. Because there's going to be pockets there that is going to change, that the, the music's gonna change, the groove is gonna change. But I don't know how the fuck they pull this shit off all the time. I just jam out. You know, I don't know how. I mean, I know I probably, that was a long explanation about no, nothing. I think that's about great though. Nothing. About uh, nothing. <laughs> you know what? I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly what you're saying. Well, hopefully that makes sense because I know I'm contradicting myself, but the bottom line is it doesn't have a standard groove that you know, a RT groove standard, Ryan groove to be like, oh yeah, I got to catch a groove, but I'm still digging it. And I got to shout out everybody to, that put that together. You know, obviously Maynard on the vocals. Maynard, yeah. Uh, Matt Carino. Mitchell on the guitar, bass. He is killing that. I a love agent, the way. What's the, what's the, the agent names here? What's the, what's the yeah. <laughs> Agent Matt Mitchell on the guitar, bass, Karina Round, vocals, yeah. keys. Yeah. You know, agent in training. You know what I'm yeah, saying? You, you know, know what I'm Maynard, saying? Maynard, you know, with the Dick Merkin that we should mm -hmm. say from before. Yeah, everyone's doing a thing, man. Yep. Um, it, it's a it's a very interesting listen. But, it is, but I really am, am enjoying what I'm hearing. Is it working for you though? It is working. I, I really I do like it. I like the sort of echoing, mm -hmm. ding, ding 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 ding, the, the, the sort of effects that they're that they're adding in. With and they're it, yeah, them long drawn out. And I love the way Maynard sounds on this, man. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's it's just very. I think what you were saying is just to kind of. Try to add on to it. Try man. to clean it's, it up. On no, not even clean up. Not even clean up because I, I, I'm trying to figure out how I can even describe it. But but it, it's um tool has a way of 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 pushing boundaries and being creative. Yep. But somehow making it um listenable and not not being just so abstract where it doesn't feel like it has musicality there. You know what I'm saying? Like the music musical it still works. Yeah, it does. You know. So and I just think even from from uh, drum fill to drum fill, from riff to riff, from vocal, like I, mm -hmm. I don't know what the fuck to, uh, to expect between each, yeah. you know, between each instrument. I'm like, okay, I thought I had the pattern, but maybe I didn't. I thought yep. I had the rhythm, I th but maybe I don't. But yet I feel engulfed and I'm just enjoying it. Let's keep it going. <laughs> I know we go, we go get back to it. We go get back to it. But anybody that watches the channel, you know I'm a, I'm a sucker for them pauses, man. Them little breaks in the music and a little pause, and then and then it, and then the um, the music, well, the instrumentation, but specifically the guitarist comes back in. I love that gets me every single time. If it's done right, if it's done right, I love those little the little nuances and the little pauses and yeah, yeah. that shit just is just fire to me. But I love that. You know what's funny to to kind of talk about that is like we heard that in the beginning, right? We heard this, we heard sort of what they were doing in the beginning, mm -hmm. but then the pause sort of registered it. Yeah, like the second time around, we're like, okay, yeah, no, that's hot. Yeah, <laughs> when it came back, we said, why you say my, my, my. Yeah. <laughs> grinning, chatty, you know. Yeah. <laughs> when it came back in, we were like, we heard this before, but when it was brought back, it just, I don't know why that is. There's, there's, a, there's, there's a reasoning for that. It's yeah. just, I think it just takes time for, sometimes it just takes a little bit of time for, for what's happening to register. And I think when it, that pause and bringing that back again, getting that pattern sort of ingrained in you, mm -hmm. um, that pause, I think helps that register. Yeah. Like it, you know it, what I'm saying? It, uh, it like brings it together. Yeah. It really puts, um, you notice it. 
Yes. It like it accentuates it. Yeah. You're, you're like, like, damn. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, this is hot now. This mm-hmm. is hot. I'm, I'm yeah. not. I'm not in figuring it out mode anymore. This, yeah. this is this is actually kind of hot. And um, I'm not sure if there's a sort of an underlying societal meaning. Um, that that's tied into this storyline yeah. or whatever. So we probably have to do a little bit more background uh, research <laughs> on this. But I'm going to try to see what we can do to kind of to touch on these lyrics right. in a little bit. But we're having a good time listening to this one, though, yeah, man. man. Let's get back to it. This is hot, man. I'm, really, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Man. I love it, man. And again, I feel like um, um, this is a journey that they're, that they're taking me on, right? Yeah. I just kind of, I don't know what's coming next. The uh, tone of the guitar, I think, stands out so much in this song because it gives it like a, um, it, I think it gives it a rawness, a metal rawness to it, but it's still subdued and smooth. That transition into uh, the second part of this song where the um the the guitar tone is like dun 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 dun, dun bow, and then it comes in mm-hmm. like super um uh, aggressive. I think that is just out of here because again, I didn't know what was gonna come. I love the fact that they keep you guessing all the, all time, the time of what's coming, but most of the time when I listen to uh, other bands, I don't know if I'm um I, I like to be surprised because sometimes I'm like ah, that that that's a surprise that I didn't like. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't yeah, want yeah, that yeah. at all. Don't surprise me like that ever again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But they pull that <laughs> shit off, though. This shit is hot. You ever see an artist that draws something upside down and then they turn it up, they, they turn it yeah. right side up and it, it works? It, everything fits together, but you're not seeing it um, as it's being done. Right, right. At least initially. And then at the end, you're like, Oh, oh, it came together. Yeah, he he drove. It was a fucking broom. Okay, yeah, and it came time. together. I, yeah. I didn't know. I just saw a bunch of squiggly lines. And I didn't exactly. Get it. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it is with them, man. Really dope. And we're not trying to listen, man. We're not trying to. We don't. We don't need to stroke egos, man. No, we, we don't. A thousand. You don't. We're not trying to do it. It's not because we know they've shown us love and in, in, in their own way. We keep it real, regardless. You know. Yep. Um But this is really impressing us, man. It's, yeah, just, it's just a cool, interesting, creative listen. All right, so we're at the end of the song, but we're probably gonna bring it back.
Absolutely. Shout out to the bass work in that too. I know that that kind of may have just from how we describe it, it may have gotten overshadowed. But just how I, I'm, I'm, I'm making fingers like it's with, assuming it's <laughs> yeah. the keyboard, it's the keys on the bass. Shout out to that. But ain't whatever, whatever it is used for the bass. Shout man, out to whoever's doing that. I tell you one thing though, George man, is if the rest of the album sounds like this, this shit is fire. Well, no, know. it doesn't. So. <laughs> I'm here to tell you that uh, apocalyptical. <laughs> oh, you heard that one? Yeah, I heard, I heard, I heard that one. He's like, no, it doesn't. You know, I don't know about that one, but I'm going to sit with apocalyptical. I'm going to keep it right. Okay. I don't know about that one. But this one yeah. sounds completely different from that one. Yeah. That... We'll, we'll, listen, we'll listen to that one off camera. We'll see, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll put you on that. Yeah, man. But uh, I'm excited to get into the album, though. With all that being said, um, yeah. the way this band was able to um, highlight and showcase everyone's instrument and everyone's skill set was great. Because a lot of times, I don't want to say a lot of times, but a few times that we've done certain um, reactions and reviews on different songs, guys, I feel like sometimes the instrumentations, the guitar is too loud and you can't hear the vocals, or the vocals is overpowering and you can't really hear the drums, or the drums is, is, mm -hmm. is muffled and you, it's really not impactful. I think they did a great job with this particular song that everything was highlighted well. It was creative, but not overindulgent. And I keep thinking back to just the, the sort of idea of this group and, and what we read, bridging the gap between humanity and the digital. And, the digital. Yeah. and I think the digital in that they're gonna have creative elements, but the humanity in that they're gonna, probably gonna be talking about something substantial yeah. and the human factor in the listening experience. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Not just being so caught up in your own creativity that yeah. You're just, it's just you and your buddies that, you know, are thinking, thinking this is great. I know you where know? you're going You with and that. a handful of people that only, you know, <laughs> you and three other uh, incredible musicians just think this is great, but the rest of the world's like, what the fuck are you talking about? What are you about? doing? Yeah. You know, so I think that they, the feeling that I got in this and just certain hearing that sort of echoing mm -hmm. notes, I think, uh, I think they nailed it, man. I think this is a great song. Yeah, honestly, I think so man. too, I'm man. really, really shocked after hearing Apocalyptical yeah. <laughs> that I enjoyed like this. Th listen to that one now. <laughs> Diligence, bro. You know, hey man, it's all subjective, man. But go check out the album, man. Existential uh, Reckoning came out on uh, October 30th, man. You know, yeah. check this out, man. And if you have checked check this out, album out already and listened to the album in its totality, you know, comment on us, guys. You know, comment below and just kind of tell us what you think um, of this song in particular. Because and give us if feedback. this ain't fire to you, then the rest, the, the rest of this album must be incredible because uh, this is fire to me. Uh, this is definitely playlist. Yeah. I, I, I don't think well, we may have said that when the music was going, but this mm -hmm. is definitely playlist this is for fire. sure. I'm, I can't wait to play this again. And give us some suggestions on other songs that you've uh, heard that you want us to maybe get back to. Yeah. You know, because this is a good a good second impression for me. The second impression. <laughs> That's the video, guys. If you enjoyed that, please hit the like button. If you have subscribed, please subscribe. And also, guys, check out our Patreon channel. If you're interested, it will allow you to get exclusive access to our content. The link for that will be in the description. I'm George. That's Ryan, Las Vegas. We out. We out.